Good afternoon. It's a shooting that shocked a community. A teen accused of shooting and killing his friend at his quest to home last July. His first trial ended in a hung jury. Today he pleaded guilty to a lesser charge. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch was in the Taos courtroom for the hearing. She has more about how the victim's family feels about the plea deal. You have an agreed upon disposition with the state. You have admitted to the crime of tampering with evidence related to a second degree homicide, a third degree felony if committed by an adult. Judge Emilio Chavez appearing remotely in court today. Porfirio Brown, who was 14 at the time, faced charges for shooting and killing 13 year old Amber Archuleta at his father's home last summer in Cuesta. He faced a second degree murder charge, tampering with evidence, and attempted assault of a peace officer charges for the shooting. Where did this happen? Right here? Porfirio Brown claimed he never pulled the trigger. His case went to trial in March, which ended in a hung jury. Porfirio was expected to go to trial again, but today he pled to tampering with evidence and will have one year of probation. Those other charges were dropped. He'll be on supervised probation for a year. He could get off early if he does really well. Um, he's done perfect while he's been out, while the case has been pending. The family of Amber Archuleta spoke in court today and shared with KRQE they feel the justice system and law enforcement from the case failed them. We are grateful that Mr. Brown did uh, admit some guilt in the incident. Uh, we will continue fighting for for justice. Uh, we are we're not we're, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted or needed. Put video's dad William Brown went to trial charged under Benny's law, which aims to hold gun owners accountable when a minor uses their weapon to hurt or threaten someone. A jury found him not guilty in June. In Taos, Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE News 13. The 8th Judicial District Attorney sent KRQE a statement in part saying what the Archuleta family and what the community needs in some way gets with the plea agreement is some accountability and finally the opportunity to put this chapter of grieving behind them.